Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here. I'm just going to be going through some of the tutorials that I've written on one of my websites. So uh, first off, let's go to um, the website. It's um, uh, ccgames.tk And uh, just because it's .tk doesn't mean it's total crap, right? I was just cheap. So uh, we're going to start off with the Hello World tutorial, you know, pretty basic standard thing. Always got to start with the uh, Hello World, it's pretty traditional. So we're going to start with um, just creating a new project, right? So uh, you know, just open up your uh, Visual Studio or C Sharp Express, doesn't really matter which one you have. Okay, so i um, just going to start and make a new project. And my computer is being slow like usual. Alright, so we're going to start by um, selecting console application. If you're using C Sharp Express, you're not going to have as many options as I do. Just don't worry about it, you don't need them. Um, you might want to create a folder first for everything. I'm going to do that right now. As you can see, I have quite a few. So I'm going to just name this some um, Hot Noobs C Sharp um, Tutorials, Tut Sources, whatever. Okay, uh, just make a folder, select it, yaddy yaddy. Then um, you guys can name this like Hello World or whatever. I'm just going to name this Post1 to help uh, keep me organized, right? So, I'm just going to create it. You know, press OK, whatever. And let it load. Right, so you're going to get some basic things here. Um, first off, you're going to notice these statements at the top. These are saying what libraries to import. So if we got rid of all of these, we wouldn't really be able to do much. Like, see how there's no um, console class coming up. So the console class is part of the um, the system library or namespace. I like to call them libraries because it's you know namespace is just a fancy word for it. Okay. So uh, you're going to notice you get a whole bunch of functions here. Uh, right now we're just going to focus on just a couple. We're going to use the right line. Now this is going to be um, just uh, outputting some uh, words aligned right. You'll see what I mean when we compile it. Right, it's all here. Notice how we're putting it in the main. In our case, it has args. You don't arguments. Uh, you don't really need them. So um, you know, just read along, write down the line, yada yada. Oh, forgot uh, some punctuation. <laughs> and um, notice the console read line command. You can use read key or whatever you prefer. Basically, it's so that when the program gets to end, to the end, it doesn't it sh totally shut down, right? Because if you didn't have this, this is what's going to happen. It's going to flash and just stop, right? Because when a program reaches its end, it's going to close, right? So that's the end of the program. So if the console read line. It's going to wait for you to, uh, you know, press the enter key, right? And if you really wanted to, you know, to add a bit more to your hello world, make it a bit more user friendly, press enter to continue or to end or whatever, right? And uh, just for uh, you guys to know for references, Notice how I'm not actually going to the build menu and whatever, um, or debug. I'm just uh, pressing F5, which is defined here. You can change it to whatever you want. I like to leave things at the default. 
that's pretty much it for the Hello World tutorial. You know, your pure, utter basics. Well, it's not really that basic, it's just like tradition.